Well, I want to talk about, a, he's a great scientist and engineer, lived in the past. His name is Georges Lakhovsky, a Russian, okay? So, uh, not a politician, but an engineer and a scientist. He developed a multi-wave machine back in the 1930s, or actually probably in the 20s. It was patented back in the 1930s in Paris, France. And what the machine can do, allegedly, was cure a lot of problems in the body. Now, my understanding is this, that parasites and microbes that are bad for the body have a positive charge in them. So, when they get hit with a negative charge, it makes an environment for them that's bad, basically, for them to survive. Negative charge is basically what the, the cellular activity of the body is doing, okay? My basic understanding of that. But he uses multi-wave uh, generator. And, but you know what was interesting is, at age 72, in 1942, Lakowski was struck by a limousine and he died three days later of, in, in a hospital of his injuries. Uh, I think this guy, you know, is somebody else you don't hear of. You might have heard of Dr. Royal Rife, who developed uh, frequency machines that used radio waves as carrier waves. In other words, there was a certain frequency a microbe did not like, but to get it deep in the body, he had to use a carrier waves to carry that frequency deep into the body, and it would destroy it. That was a theory. The frequency that the microbe did not like. So, but it looks like they found uh, a few of these Lakorsky machines in Italy some years back. And, uh, you know, it's in the hands of some private individuals right now trying to spread the technology. But they found them in Italy. So, like, he was actually working in Europe and things like that. Um, but um, they have pictures from the past where people have used these multi-wave generators and you know you can just use that label and anything could be a multi-wave generator it's got to be a certain type of uh, thing that you're using uh, but when they're using these things they've actually reversed aged because theoretically you can actually repair your DNA because every time your DNA you know, every time your cells multiply the DNA on the end of it the end of it on the end of the DNA code it's damaged and that's why people age theoretically with some of these types of higher end frequencies I really don't understand uh, you could possibly live like ridiculously long periods of time and the technology might be here pretty soon I don't know it's suppressed technology my is that's my belief I think it seriously is suppressed technology it's not something that's uh, you know where you know, it's it's just a made up story. And also I find it suspicious that, you know, this guy was hit by a limousine. I don't know, maybe it was just an accident, but who the hell knows? I mean Dr. Bob Beck, I don't think his device was anywhere near something like this, but no but at least people know how to make it. He fell off the roof of his house, right? And also Robert uh, Atkins, uh, he fell on the ice and then later died of injuries in uh, the hospital. He was a big advocate of ozonated medicine besides the diet you heard about the Atkins diet but he was also a big proponent of ozone used in medicine very cheap very cheap very effective too it depends on how you use it but lots of different ways you can use it you can use like saunas and all this type of stuff this multi-wave generator thing is a smart idea um, you know in theory the whole idea is if you can actually put a negative charge on your body you will rejuvenate your cells and also uh, that's the theory behind it, and also that's bad for the microbes. Now, I know, like they have like this magnetic pulser. Um, there's a couple people that sell them. There's several people. I think the main one out there that sells them is Soda Instruments. Also, Clark. Uh, there's another one out there called Clark or something that sells them. Soda Instruments is probably the best quality one. Um, to actually take a pulser and say, you know, if you had this on an infection on your hand and you said pulse, pulse, pulse with, you know, negative charge, I don't know if that's going to do much. It, the way I look at it, it's like a slight influence. It's good to do. It's good to use the, basically the north, uh, the north side, which is the negative charge side, which actually helps to rejuvenate your cells in a very, very minor way. It's nothing to do with uh, this Lavorsky type thing, but it has to do with bringing that negative 
charge into the cells which also is bad for the microbes so even when you do this with nutrition it does the same type of thing it does the same type of thing um, but uh, it looks like there is a lot of suppressed technology out there because you know when you're talking with healing waves and healing with electricity it's like a one-time buy it's like you're not constantly going back and using medicines you know and maybe they're not maybe you have to use medicines and healing waves I mean obviously if healing waves can heal the whole body and make it brand new again oh that would be great but would that also say that you don't need food uh, no so I mean that's the same thing I mean there's like a there's a limit to the technology that's what I have to say too but it looks like it's suppressed technology for real it really is and Lakovsky not known very well, Georges Lakovsky, and actually Dr. Bob Beck, I'm sure he knew about this, you know, he knew about him, it's a name that's uh, been around. Um, you know, when he made his device, he made it simple enough that people could understand how to make it, so it's not such a big mystery. This device that Le Georges Lakovsky made it was very complex, it was a multi-wave generator. Now, I would suppose you could buy a multi-wave frequency generator today, and maybe do somewhat of the same type of thing you know but I would not know that for sure I would not know that for sure but um, you know rumors still persist but the thing is it's interesting is that three of the machines have survived in Italy and they're actually in private hands so the technology even though it's been suppressed has not been completely suppressed and also, if you ever take a look at Tom Bearden's site with Scalar Waves, there's a lot of uh, potential out there that someday people may live to be thousands of years old. You know, they tell, like, in a biology class, you can only live to maybe a max of 140 or 150 years. But that because that's the limit of the cell division, because every time a cell divides, it loses part of that DNA. There's, like, an end of the DNA that gets damaged. Well, with some of these... You know, and I don't understand it, but so many scalar wave technologies out there, you could possibly repair that, and therefore the cells keep renewing and renewing and renewing, and you never really age. That's probably possible at some point in time. Now, um, I just wanted to point out about a great Russian scientist and engineer. Actually, this is from way back. He was born in 1869 in the Russian Empire, well before Bolshevism took over, and... Uh, he died in New York City in 1942, uh, where he was hit by the limousine. The Money Power, New York City, 1942, hit by a limousine. So, does that raise a little bit of suspicion? It does in my mind, but it's sure not proof. But it does raise suspicion in my mind. But just keep an open on mind on these technologies, because I think they're real. But just do watch out for the snake oil that's being sold out there in the alternative world, because they will... Um, sell you things that they say are this and that and they aren't you know what I'm saying it's like um, you know it's a happy medium so interesting story I think for Lukovsky um, somebody you probably never heard of and um, basically developed a machine and I would imagine he Rife knew about this too so maybe they've been working independently but uh, three of the machines have survived in recent times were found in Italy very recently so, if you see the Pope walk out someday, and he doesn't look like this wrinkled old guy, and he's like, he's going backwards in age, and he's, you know, and you're seeing this guy in a purple robe, and he looks like he's 20 years old, you know where the machines are, you know? He probably got all three of them. 